Hey everybody, so today I wanted to teach you how to import a font of your very own into World of Warcraft. Now why would you want to do this? If you want to have your UI have a custom look to it, or if you have a theme, or if there's a font that you know of, or you just don't like the default game fonts, you can get a font of your own to replace it, uh, depending on if it's an add-on. It's a little more difficult to replace the in-game fonts. I know LVI does this, but this uh, will let you do this with pretty much any add-on I can think of, including the default UI. If you want to import a font into WoW, the first thing you're going to have to do is find a font you want to use. So I am going to use an example here. I have some Batman fonts. My theme is a Harley Quinn theme, so I gave my character pigtails and I used two hyenas as pets on my hunter. They're named Bud and Lou, and I thought I would use this font with them just as a test. I already have another font that I use, but just for the purpose of this video, we'll go ahead and use this font to show you how it changes and how it shows up into WoW. So you can go ahead and download that and it will usually get a zip. You want to use a TTF file. That's a true text, I believe it is. True type, I'm sorry, it's a true type font. You can get one that says OTF, open type font. It might work with it. I'm not 100% on it, but if it doesn't work, you need to use a TTF file. So that's the first thing. You need to take your TTF file out of the zip if it's a zip, or if you have it. So if you double click it, it'll show you what it looks like. Uh, and that's it. You don't really even need to install it into Windows to get this to work because WoW needs to see it. Uh, so having the font is the first thing. The second thing you're gonna need, there are, I, I think there are other ways to do this, but the way that I know of is to use an add-on called Shared Media Additional Fonts. So once you install this, you will in your WoW add-ons folder at C Program Files x86 World of Warcraft Retail Interface Add-ons will have a folder called Shared Media Additional Fonts and then another folder called Fonts and all, all the fonts you want to use will be in here. So you're going to take your file and you're just going to drag it in there and that's it. When the add-on updates, these files don't get wiped out. I've updated the add-on before and these don't get wiped out, but in the event that you're scared that that might happen, because things like that do happen with add-ons, you can do like I've done here and make a backup that has all of your fonts in it, because you probably won't change this very often. So you can do this like once a month or you can make a scheduled task to you know, take it from one place and copy it to another place. So that's that. So now that you put your font in shared media additional fonts, there's another thing you're gonna need to do, and it's really the last thing you need to do to get this to work. Just dropping that in there will not be recognized in WoW. And why is that? The reason that is, is because it's reading from a file to know what fonts to use. So I believe it's the Lua file here. So don't let this intimidate you what you want to look for is one of these lines I'm highlighting here. So you can see that it's three lines long. It starts with the word shared media additional fonts and ends with the name of the font with brackets around it. You can see every one of them looks like that. This is the other Batman font that I had is only two lines. But what you can do, real easy way to do this, is just copy from the end of one to the beginning of one, copy it, paste the same line in and all you have to do is just change the name of your font here to whatever you downloaded. So this is Gothic Joker. You can just rename, copy it. And then this was the one Final Frontiers in there twice. So you just paste the name of the font dot TTF or it's a or if it's an OTF OTF. Not only do you have to change the name of the font, but you have to change that in the list as well to match. You can call it whatever you want. So 
So you have to quit and restart the game for those changes to take effect. Let me do that. So when you go to the list, here it is, Gothic Joker. But you can change the size of the font to be a little bit larger to see if you like it. And then this is the shadow of it beneath, and you need to change it to this. Gothic Joker, and then look at both of them. I guess that's all right. That's kind of good, I guess. So if we move this one down a few, and this one down a few. And there you go. So you could do this with pretty much anything. Um, when you drop down a font list for any add-on, you'll see the font that you put in there. And that's all there is to it. So good luck, and thanks for watching.